Grand Rising, <clears throat> welcome to Healing Hype Man. My name is Alvin. If you are new, welcome to my vibe, my channel. If you're returning, welcome back, Soul Fam. I do daily messages um, on Instagram, so check me out over there. Uh, I'm posting this on, on YouTube and Instagram, uh, so check me out on Instagram uh, for my dailies. I don't post them on YouTube yet, but um, check me out over there. Welcome, hi, hello, and yeah, this is gonna be a relationship reading, which is new to me, so tell me what you think. I'm gonna do a relationship reading if you're dealing with someone, right, someone you are about to go on a date with, someone you wanna go on a date with, as long as you've created a connection with them, because the first two cards is gonna be the core, the core of that relationship. And then we're gonna go into what's in their heart and their head, and then what's in your heart and your head. Uh, I'm also gonna timestamp it. If you're not dealing with anybody and you want the singles portion, you can fast forward. Uh, do a past, present, future for just you, like a personal reading for past, present, future, and then who's coming towards you. Again, check out Instagram for all the dailies. Uh, quick shout out to Safe Stones on Instagram. I'm gonna tag them below. It's the black tourmaline gold choker necklace I love. And I got this cool one that I'm gonna wear in another reading uh, on a safety pin, Safe Stones. You can see their information in the description box and links to all the other cool stuff. And that's about it, so let's dive in. So if you're dealing with someone, you've already connected with them somehow, right? not someone you have a crush on, and they don't know it, they have to know it, right? They have to know it, or you're in a relationship. Again, this is new for me, so I'm trying to read relationship readings since that's what everybody likes, so I'm gonna Shift my mindset in that direction for you guys. Tell me what you think. Cancer. I should have said that. This is for cancer. Us. Hi. Uh, okay, so the core of this relationship. The core of this relationship is Queen of Cups with Three of Wands. Wow, so the core of this relationship here, very nurturing, very naturing, coming from a very good heart space. And someone's taking action on their heart. Someone someone felt something great, so now they're like, I'm gonna move forward on it. Um, very well could be how it started or how it's gonna start or how it's going, but this is this is the core of the relationship. The core of it is very emotion, emotion focused that you guys are moving forward on. Um, you guys are pushing forward with your heart. Where their head is at, where their heart is at, what they are showing you. That's good where your head is at, where your heart is at, where your, what you are showing them. You would show up, Cancer. Wow, this is actually really nice, Cancer, dealing with someone. Like, you're moving forward with your heart. The core of this is like you guys are moving forward because it feels great, it feels nice. There's, it's equal. Right? You're both caring for each other. You both see each other on, on, on a very emotional standpoint. Their head is a little confused. Their head is, they could be going through some depression or some anxiety, coming out of it. Their mind, they're having sleepless nights about, about something in their mind. It doesn't mean it has to be about you. There's just a lot in their mind that's going on. Right? So keep that in mind when you're dealing with them. Their heart space really wants to build something. Their heart space is probably starting over again and planting their seeds for long term, right? Which is, you know, very well could tell me that there might have just be so much going on in their life that they're like, I really just want long term investments. My heart space just wants things that are long term because I have so much going on that I don't have room for my heart to, to handle things that are not stable. This is them. And what they're showing you is, is they're willing to build. They're willing to build Three of Pentacles. They're willing to build a solid foundation with you. They very well already could have started that or they're willing to put that effort in, but they're willing to build something with you. Where your head is at, your head is, is you're, you're overflowing with love. There's so much love here. Your, your head space can't, of course, cancer, water. Right? Your head is like, I, I just want to heal. I want to give people my love. That's your head. Your, your heart space is very clear about what it wants. Your heart space is very, I know what I want. And very well could be articulating that, which is why the core of your relationship has started off very, very, very well here. 444, cancer number as well. Number four is cancer number. And what you're showing them is movement. You're, you're actually showing them forward movement. Like I wanna take action on this. And they're showing you stability. This is great here. This is beautiful. There's forward movement here. 
they are dealing with a lot, right? So there might be, that's why it's a three. They're not showing you a king of pentacles because they're willing to put effort into it. They're willing to put the blueprints in place, right? So beginner mindset. They're willing to start some from somewhere, but the effort is there. I would take that. Let's pull some oracle messages here and then we'll get some advice from the angels. Coffee cup, meeting a conversation, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted. You very well could just have great conversations. That you really can have deep, deep, meaningful conversations that you typically would have with friendships, friendships at the bottom, right? Maybe this started off as a friendship, but you're really gonna start to see that having these meaning, these meetings and conversations and savoring these moments of deep conversation are gonna go a long way. Dragonfly, be lighthearted. Finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. You very well could be having healing conversations with each other. Right? It's a lot of, right? you have a lot of emotion to give. You're a cancer. Of course you are. Um, you might be healing them. <laughs> that's always a cancer's job. <laughs> ah, that's always a cancer's job. It's like heal other people. But at the same time, they're putting in the effort. And they also want long-term stability. So you might heal them at first, but you know, they very well can go in a different direction. You just make sure that you aren't over, don't over give, please. I know you're overflowing. Cancers are always overflowing their cup to give to others. But I also want you to make sure that, that, that they see and appreciate that from you. You're being a cancer. Like, you're being a cancer. I see that. And hands of cards. Take a chance. Risk. Being strategic. Not showing a hand and gambling. Take a gamble here. Take a risk. Because at the end of the day, a cancer knows how to heal themselves because they've done it over and over and over again. And if anything, this, this, this could be a learning lesson. But if anything, you're doing what... God has intended for you to do, and that is heal, my friend. We are cancers. We are the healers and the feelers and the mothers of the zodiac, uh, and we are doing our job. And you know, hopefully, this goes in a very good direction. You know, if you can help them, help them build this relationship. They're putting in some effort, so if you throw in some effort too, this can really turn into something solid here. Let's get some advice from the angels. Helpful people, like I said, right? you can see it like that. Don't don't have don't put all your eggs in one basket and don't think this is gonna be the end all be all. Just be yourself, and you might be you might just be helpful people to each other in the near future. Very vague on time, but that's what the angels want to come out. Get more information, right? Again, this this is more this is seek to understand here. Seek to understand relationship has the potential to be something great. If it doesn't, it's still a it's still something that you can bring value to the rest, to the world, or to this relationship, right? You're, you're in a very good, comfortable space. Your cup is overflowing. It's not going to hinder you to, to help someone else. And if it works out in your favor, even better. Let's pull a hype man card from my little deck that I made. I always pull three. Change your mindset. It will change your life. Right? Be, be risky here. Be a little, give a little bit of gamble. I think you have room to gamble with because you're in, a, you're, 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 you're in your power here. You're in your zone. You have a lot to offer. You're overflowing. Your cup is overflowing. Back to your roots, fourth house, cancer. Cancer with the cancer card. I put four in there because this is a cancer card. That's how I wrote it. Back to your roots, home vibes, right? Homey. Some of you might need to go back home, check yourself. This is also just, just stay, stay who, be who you are and stay who you are. I don't know her. Huh. This is like I don't I don't know that person. Get to know them. Get to know them. Seek to understand. And I said that, right? I think I said that. This is a seek to understand connection here. And if you're already in a relationship and you're at this level, then you as the cancer, your partner needs some help. Your partner just is putting in some effort, but they have a lot going on in their mind. So you know, if you can, if you want to do anything with that, and you want to help them with their mental health, you know, build that connection and see them grow, then this can grow into something else. Right? Relationships are about growth. You're seeing each other grow, and you have to be okay with who that person is becoming, and they're going to be okay with who you're becoming, right? In the same direction. At some point, if if it goes in different directions, so be it. No harm done. Do not beat each other up. Oh, you're not for me. You changed. No. Yes, we both changed, and now we're parting ways. Let's get into the singles. I'm gonna timestamp this.
Tom Stampy Soul Singles. What's up? I'm going to pay close attention to this. Singles, past, present, future. This is just like a personal reading. This is not about your past relationships. This is about your personal. This is all about you here. Past. Ooh. You went through some shit. You went through a lot of mental mental depression. You went through a lot of, of anxiety, sleepless nights. In your present energy, you might feel stuck. Right now, you're like, I don't know if you're still lingering onto that, onto that, those, those that anxiety, those things that are bothering you, those, the, the the mental health aspect. But right now, you're in a position of being stuck. Before I speak, okay, stuck, yes, but eh, eh, you know that, you know that, oh, new beginnings, you know that new things are coming your way here, right? So even though your present energy might be stuck, you are open to new beginnings and things coming your way. In the future, things you will be leaving. This card literally says, leaving depression and going to a place of peace and quiet and, and calmness. You are heading in that direction and cancers will always head in that direction. We just always tend to, to linger in the in the dark and we don't realize how quickly we can get ourselves out of that because we do it for other people, but we don't do it for ourselves. You're heading in that direction. Let this be your positive word of affirmation that, that the light is coming within time. Get on the boat and just you gotta make moves. Go in that direction. Leave what is behind you and just, just leave the chaos and head into the direction of the light. Don't look back. Don't look back. Oracle message. Bunny hop jive. Some of you could be skipping around, doing a lot, diving. Bunny hop jive. You're like dodging people left and right at your service. You could be at other people's service or someone here wants to offer you everything. And you're dodging people that want your help. That's what I see here. Live in large. That's great vibes here. You're dodging people that need your help. Um, you're dodging people that, you're dodging things a lot. Um, you're dodging things that need your attention as well. You could be dodging your own self-limiting belief systems, right? And you get to a place of live in large. Just, just own own what is in front of you. Own what is what is in front of you, and don't do not avoid things that need to be brought to the light. And that can get you to the live in large lifestyle. Let's pull a hype man card for you, singles. Darkness is energy that needs a touch of light. This is our daily life. We bring the light to the darkness. And I sigh because I, we tend to do this a lot. And then we're like, well, when is it my turn? The universe will always pay it forward at some point. Just, just hold your breath. Don't hold your breath, but just be the light that you are. Keep it sassy, sis. Just keep it sassy. This is this is a boundary you can put, right? If you feel like you're overgiving and oversharing with people, keep it sassy. You know what? I, I, I'm done exceeding expectations for others. I need. To, I want. I want my expectations met. So sometimes you got to set up boundaries and you got to keep it sassy and straight up, sis. Like straight up inside voices. This is connect with yourself. This is also keep things to yourself. This is also you know don't be so expressive on certain things if you don't want to help someone because someone's being really needy and you're dodging them. Um, um, keep it to yourself. What I didn't pull was who's coming towards you. Duh. Who's coming towards you? Ooh, ten of pentacles. Nine of pentacles. Ten of swords. Okay. So who's coming towards you? Again, I'm going to say here, I see single. I see single for a little bit. Um, very well can be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming your way. Um, but I'm really getting the vibe here that you are kind of in your power here. I, to be honest, I don't see anybody coming your way. I really don't. Um, it, this is more of like, I, I'm in a very good position of, of being myself. And at the same time, there's things that you might need to end in your life. So you're working on yourself here. Very single, stable vibes. You're, you're, you're having your glow up right now. Uh, I wouldn't focus. There's nothing here in the sense of focusing. And again, you're coming. Yeah, you, you, you look at this. This was your vibe. Uh-uh. There's no, there, there's, it's not a great time for you to be trying to involve yourself in a long-term relationship. Satisfy your needs in, in whichever way possible, but but you're working on yourself. You're building your foundation. You're building your Ten of Cups. My name is Alan Catalan. I'm present. I'm done speaking now.